Boy, Earl, this riff sure is tasty, isn't it? Oh, hey, didn't see you there. My name's Reed. I'm the director of programming here at BSR. And this is Earl the Squirrel, BSR's beloved mascot. I'm guessing you're here because you got your radio show approved. Well, hot dog. Now, I'm sure you have a lot of questions about how the studio works, what you can and can't do on air. So let's jump in. Being a BSR DJ is a great experience, especially if you're interested in working in radio after graduation. is isn't just about grabbing a mic, doing whatever you want for two hours a week. It's a lot more than you think. So let's start with the studio. So you're in the studio, ready for your first show. So now what? The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure the board is prepped to your needs. Seeing the board for the first time can be a bit overwhelming, but don't worry, it's not as crazy as it seems. The first five sliders are labeled one through five. For the five microphones we have here in the studio, plus the DJB system, the phone, and the aux cord. First, you'll need to check the number of microphone you're planning to use and make sure that it's A, on, and B, set to the appropriate level. So let's say I want to use microphone one. So I'll flip the switch to on and set the level to about 75%. We found that 75% is a pretty good volume. You'll do this for all the microphones you're planning to use. Remember, when you're going to take a break or need to cough or sneeze, you need to set the switch to off. Otherwise, everyone will still hear you. Now that we're sure people are able to hear our voices, let's make sure they're able to hear our music. As you can see, there are two screens. The left screen has all the songs currently ready for play, and the right screen is where all the songs are stored. So what do you do if you notice a song you want to play isn't on the left screen? First, go to the right screen and search for it. The easiest way to find songs is by searching for artist, but you can also search by cut number or title. For example, let's say we want to play a song by Neutral Milk Hotel. First, we'd go over to the right screen, click on Artist, then type in Neutral Milk Hotel. Then we hit Enter. So now we found all the songs in DJB by Neutral Milk Hotel. Now we'll select the song we want to play. Then we're going to move over to the left screen and scroll all the way down to the bottom until we find an empty space. We click on this empty space, and then we're going to move over to the right screen, and we're going to hit the insert button. Now if we go back down, we can see this song I just selected is in the left screen. If we want to play it after the current song, we'll hit Q to be next. If you want it to play immediately, hit play next in the top left corner. Keep in mind, it's not recommended to switch songs without finishing one first. It can come across as unprofessional or even annoying to your audience. It's recommended until you wait until one song finishes before you play another one. Songs will play sequentially after one is done unless you use the cue to be next button or choose to play one manually. What's that noise? It's the phone! The phone in the studio may seem confusing, but there's really not much to it. All right, so you're waiting a call. And your caller is calling. Let's say you know who the caller is. The easiest way to do this is when you see it light up over here, just click call on air, the top button, come over to the board, take your phone, turn the fader all the way up, and click on right here and they will go right on air. That's the easiest way to do it. Now, if you don't know who's calling you, hit the bottom button to call screening one. You can pick up your phone right here, the flat one, pick that up, you can talk to them, whatever. And then you're going to want to hit the call on air button again before you hang up the phone. So you can verify who they are, turn your phone on, Make sure your fader's up. That's it. See, that wasn't so bad. Now that we have the basics down, let's talk about some rules. 
Which brings me to my first point. No food and drinks in the studio. The equipment in the studio costs Boku bucks. And we can't risk any of it getting damaged. If you do want to eat or drink during your show, you're more than welcome to play a song and have an eat or drink in the lobby. It's like, what, the, what does a chipmunk have that I don't have? It's bullshit. It's the same fucking animal. I don't see why people are so excited about them. Wow, Earl. You're 0 for 2 today. Which brings me to our second biggest rule. No curse words allowed in the studio, except for four. The only curse words we allow DJs to say on air are bitch, ass, damn, and hell. I repeat, bitch ass, damn, and hell. Anything other than that is off limits. If you have to ask yourself, should I say this? You probably shouldn't. All right, um, so you can say, I don't like Nickelback, they're a bad band, they make really bad music. Um, but you cannot say, I fucking hate Nickelback, they are the worst band ever, um, they should die, and they should have never made music to begin with. Um, can't say that. It's fair. Yeah, it's fair. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now this next part should really go without saying, but I need to say it anyway. Absolutely no racial, sexual, or homophobic slurs to be said on air. If you do say any on air, your show will be terminated immediately. And lastly, no disparaging remarks are to be made about BSR or anyone affiliated with BSR on air. If you have an issue, you can bring it to somebody on staff. But don't air your grievances on air. Don't do it! Fuck em. So there you are. The rules of the studio. Now if you happen to break any and we find out, well, we'll just have to kill you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And that's that. The basics of being a BSR DJ. Now, if you have any questions during your show, feel free to contact our tech director, Stuart Blackwood. We hoped you found this video informative and entertaining. From all of us at BSR, have a great semester, DJs!